Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Transformers video review. Today we are looking at Decepticon Airwave from the War for Cybertron Earthrise. He's number 18 of the series, and he's a Decepticon modulator. And uh, that means he's got a couple of different uh, things here. He becomes armor and weapons. He becomes one kind of base and another kind another kind of base. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. So <laughs> I was really excited to get this. Uh, I do want to get all the modulators and build a little tiny uh, city, Autobots versus Decepticons. Uh, I know there's not too many modulators and from the looks of it, there's not going to be any more after the, uh, you know, once Earthrise or uh, was it Earthrise? No. Once uh, Kingdom drops, there's not going to be any more modulators. So I've got to... Uh, Get all the modulators and micromasters, battlemasters that I can right now. Um, they were always cool. I always wanted more micromasters as a kid, and I wanted to be able to connect all those little micromaster bases together. So that's cool. Um, yeah, anyway, let's get on into it. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut and cut him out of his plastic and cardboard prison. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. So here we are with Modulator, Mod Modulator with his uh, little accessory uh, weapon piece. You could do lots of different things with this. Um, for the purpose of his robot mode, they have it on his shoulder, but you can plug it in to just about anywhere. It'll go on the end of his gun here if you like, and extend the barrel of that. Um, let's see... You can put it on his shoulder here, and it could be like a smokestack, or, I mean, it's, it's a lot tighter than I would like, though, so I don't know. <laughs> let's see, is there uh, anywhere else? Um, let's see. Oh, he can hold it in his hand as a, as a separate little gun. That's cool. Uh, one thing I don't like about him is his little tiny flat head. I'm not a fan of that. I think it looks very silly. <laughs> Let's, let's zoom in to that little tiny flathead and, and get a better look at it. Uh, let's see if I can adjust my lights so that we can get a better look at him there. So, yeah, there's his face. It is very diminutive. And his head does spin, or move, just a little bit. Not very much. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, uh, he's an interesting... Interesting figure, uh, if, if, if I do say so myself. <laughs> He's got... Um, his arms don't have any shoulder movement because of the way he's assembled. Uh, he's a modulator, so he does come apart. He does have um, some movement here and there. So he's got a couple of different ways to move there. His arm does go all the way around. Um, because of his thing, he's got a waist tilt. We've got this over here as well. This can come off so that he just has a small nub. And uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have a secondary... Um, he does have a port underneath. But that just looks silly. <laughs> That's probably for the uh, one of his alt modes. But you can... Put that right here and then have them both up top which i think looks pretty cool but i'm pretty sure these two pieces are yeah they appear to be pretty identical you can see that they're just painted orange plastic i've already done and rubbed some of the uh stuff off there <clears throat> or maybe yeah that must be it i rubbed it off by trying to do that anyway um, yeah, he's got ports here on his shoulders. He's got a port on his, uh, his forearm here. Uh, you can connect more stuff to here. You know, the battle masters and stuff. He does have a couple of plugs here for like these things as well. Um, probably has to do with his, uh, you know, being able to turn into a, a, a city or a building or whatever. Uh, let's see, on the bottom he's got the ports for the weaponizers, he's got a couple of ports back here, so yeah, he's got a lot going on. Let's go ahead and 
take him apart and uh, put him into one of his uh, alt modes. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cut here, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. I decided to do a quick little uh, size comparison to Siege Brunt before we uh, we moved on. Um, yeah, I just, uh, we might, because Brunt is a weaponizer, so I might actually, uh, I know I want to combine him up with the Alicon back there, just because I think that would look pretty cool. Especially if you uh, follow me on Instagram, number one gizmo, or uh, gizmo spaz over on Instagram, you can see uh, <laughs> I did a picture, a little photo session at Alicon with all of my Power Masters, so <laughs> that was a lot of fun. But uh, <clears throat> Brunt should be... I mean, these all you can all connect all these guys in so many different ways. It's awesome. You can just connect. Brunt can just stand on his shoulders there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. He'll be in his uh, his alt mode. I thought it would be sh cool to show it in all of its component pieces um, before we uh, moved on. Now, unlike with the... Uh, the uh, weaponizers, the modulators don't have names for their individual components. I think they have names for their uh, their alt modes, which uh, I don't actually see in the instructions here. So we're just going to call them what they look like. I know one of them's like a uh, an airstrip, and the other one is like a. Uh, it looks like there are three different ways to uh, take this apart and combine it. One of them's like a big factory or a battleship. One's like an airstrip, and the other's like a, a weapons platform. So anyway, these are the individual components. We got the three little weapon parts. Here's the uh, waist and uh, thighs. Here's the torso. Here's the legs all opened up. And then here are the arms. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put him into his first uh, uh, combination. And, uh, yeah, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here he is in his first mode, which we will call aircraft carrier mode. <laughs> you look like you've got a tower here. Although, if you look at the bottom, it's all treads. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a rolling fortress or what. There's all kinds of peg holes on here where you can attach other other uh, battle masters and stuff. You can add a uh, let's see, you can add a shield to the roof here. You can uh, add some cannons, stuff like that. I don't have that many battle masters. Uh, we are gonna see how this guy can attach to it uh, shortly. But here's a couple of uh, regular MicroMasters I have that, you know, they fit on there. This could be a road. It's more of a road in, a, in another, in an alternate uh, configuration, which we will show. But yeah, this is uh, it's pretty cool. I like it's got these cool big guns on the side here. You can also plug these in wherever the heck you want. Wherever it's available, there's lots of plugs. You can even hide them, uh, at least one in here, if you want, underneath. So, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. That's the greatest thing about this whole thing here, is just the many, many different ways. Whatever, whatever your mind can come up with, you can use. <clears throat> that they're like that. Have a big rotating turret on top. Yeah, that's just off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, let's see. I got one more here for you before we uh, move on to the next configuration. Boom. There he's got, he can shoot in two different directions here at any given point. So, yeah, that's, that's it for this particular configuration, which I'm calling a, uh, a rolling battleship. That's all I can think. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do believe if I wanted, I could disconnect this. Maybe. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do it that way. <laughs> oh, 
I hadn't even seen that part come off yet. So that was a surprise to me. And you could put this on here and have a ramp and then reconnect this at the other end, but then you're missing a section of the hair. So this guy will work better with a different thing. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back with the uh, second of three configurations. And uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so combo two, I like to call Hidden Factory. Because uh, this just looks like a large factory building, which is really cool. I don't see a Decepticon logo on it or anything like that. Uh, it is raised. It's on this raised uh, street here, which is kind of cool. We're going to say that this is Highway 32. And uh, yeah, you can put... Uh, I forgot to mention, there's a whole bunch of bluish points on on this guy. Um, yeah, all of a sudden, none of them are visible. <laughs> on his waist, when he's in uh, robot mode, there's bluish points there. Um, there is a bluish point over here on one of his arms, and uh, I feel like I'm missing another one somewhere, or another couple. Uh, I'm not sure right now, <laughs> so I do apologize for that. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw more bluish points. <laughs> but anyway, you've got your road here, and you can attach your, your transformer ramps or your uh, other characters who are packaged with ramps and brrr, I know it's a really little factory compared to the vehicles, the micro master vehicles, but <laughs> nothing's ever to scale in this world, really. <laughs> uh, but it is, it is cool looking. I do like it. You can just, just with the previous one, you can add other stuff to it. If you want to make it more of a military base, uh, you got your plugs down here you can plug weapons into, everything imaginable, whatever you want. So, yeah, there's that. Um, now, the third one is probably my least favorite, and it's just a giant weapons platform. Uh, this one I like because you can add a nice long roadway to your, your MicroMaster City. And, uh, you know, with the cool connecting interlock system that they have, I forgot what the system is called, but you can connect this to your, your current Titans, I believe, uh, actually, I believe it's just, um, oh, Scorponok and, uh, Omega Supreme that, that utilizes the current Titan system. Although I believe Omega Supreme has both kinds, the the older kind from the uh, from the oh uh, the Prime the Prime Wars trilogy or whatever it was called, and and this kind, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, let's uh, do another cut and we will get back with the uh, the weapons platform. So yeah, all right. So here's our dumb weapon, weapons platform mode that I don't really like. Um, the picture in the instructions shows this top section here flipping back, and it is on a hinge, but it's on a really snug hinge, and it just doesn't look right to me. And I have to adjust this in order to get it to work. I actually had to take this off. And yeah, it doesn't want to stay together. I don't I don't like this this mode at all. This this is my least favorite. Uh, supposedly this thing is down here for whatever reason. I actually prefer it in this mode. It looks like some sort of crazy bunker in this mode. But the treads, the treads and wheels are both facing up. In both modes for this, for whatever reason, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. I almost want to flip it over and, and make it like this, but then this is really loose because of the way this is put together. So, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that that's that's my review on, uh, on Modulator Airwave, Decepticon Airwave from the Transformers Earthrise line. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Uh, do you have this figure? What's your favorite mode? Uh, I think mine's probably going to be Robot or um, the Factory with the long runway. So I like that one as well. 
anyway, until next time, please leave a comment down below, link, subscribe. Um, if you're not already, I'd really appreciate it. It's completely free for you. Help me grow my channel. And until next time, as usual, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands, and if you go out, please wear a mask. Bye.